Hello, welcome to the Daily English News Program on Azerbaijan Television with the most important events on the day. President Ilham Aliyev addressed a letter of congratulations to President of the United States, Barack Obama, on the occasion of national holiday of the USA, the Independence Day. The letter states that Azerbaijan attached great importance to their relations with the United States of America with bilateral to the level of strategic partnership. President Ilham Aliyev expressed hope that the efforts rendered by the USA in the capacity as the co-chair of the OAC Minsk Group, and in particular by President Barack Obama, will soon yield positive results. In respect to the elimination of armenia azerbaijan nagorno karabakh conflict, liberation of the occupied territories, and return of more than a million of our compatriots who became refugee IDPs, President Aliyev wished strong health to President Barack Obama and peace and prosperity to the friendly nation. On July 3rd, President Ilham Aliyev signed an executive order on the additional measures on the construction of Birinji and on Birinji Gaidish rural highway of Fridley region. According to the executive order, 1,500,000 manats from the funds envisaged for a construction and reconstruction of rural highways in the state-based investment making expenses of 2015 state budget of the Republic of Azerbaijan is allocated to fizzle the executive power to continue further the construction of Birinji and on Birinji Gaidish rural highways of Fizzle region, connecting 11 residents settlements with 12,000 inhabitants. On July 5th, 24th annual summer session of the OAC Parliamentary Assembly will start in Helsinki, Finland. During the session, which will also be attended by Azerbaijan, a meeting of the Standing Committee will be held. A number of organizational issues will be discussed at the committee as well as new Secretary General of the OAC Parliamentary Assembly will be selected. During the plenary session, the draft resolution named Helsinki Plus 40 processes will be reviewed in the framework of the session meetings of the OAC Parliamentary Assembly Committee on Democracy, Human Rights and humanitarian issues, political issues and security, economic issues, science, technology and environment will be held. Visiting Permanent Deputy Chairperson of the Judicial Reforms Commission of the Political Bureau of the Communist Party of Vietnam Minister De Thi Tut Ban was at the Azerbaijan Parliament and met with the Speaker of the Mili Majlis Oktay Asadov. Speaking about the close relations between the two countries, Speaker Oktay Asadov stressed the importance of mutual visits and meetings of heads of states. He also expressed confidence that this visit will give an impetus to the development of cooperation between the law enforcement agencies. The Speaker spoke extensively about the achievements of our country gained in a relatively short period of time, the great path of development, large international projects implemented in our country, being the leader state of the region, Nagorno-Karabakh conflict emerged as a result of Armenia's aggressive policy. He also praised the cooperation between the legislative bodies of the two countries. Speaking about historical relations of our countries, permanent deputy chairperson of the Judicial Reforms Commission of the Political Bureau of the Communist Party of Vietnam, Minister Le Thi Thu Ban, noted that they were aware of Azerbaijan's successful reforms undertaken in the judiciary and legal fields. She underlined that the experience of our country in this sphere was very interesting for them. The guests underlined that they had held useful discussions on this matter during their meetings in Baku and added that they had become more familiar with Azerbaijan's experience. On July 3rd, a meeting took place in the Ministry of Communications and High Technologies with the winners and participants of Startup Azerbaijan project. Addressing the meeting, Minister of Communications and High Technologies Ayla Basov said that technology and innovative development were the main objectives in the development concept Azovjan 2020, the vision of the future, which was adopted under the leadership of President Ilham Aliyev. The minister outlined that the aim of the meeting is to expand the startup movement in the country and exchange ideas in this direction. Touching upon the importance of such projects, the minister pointed out that the fact that a lot of Azovjani youth received education abroad played a significant role in the training of highly qualified personnel in the ICT sector. Afterwards, a video film on the activities of State Fund for IT development was viewed. The executive director of the fund, Elchin Zainalov, informed the audience about the startups that were supported by the fund. The participants were informed in details about funding of startups and small business entities working in the field of ICT. During the meeting, specific suggestions for the development of entrepreneurship in ICT through startup projects were discussed. Presentations of projects that were selected as the winners of the first and second grant competitions were held. Those who are willing to participate in the next grant competition may submit their projects on the official website of the fund. The 6th Azerbaijan International Insurance Forum, with the support of the Minister of Finance and Organization of the Azerbaijan Insurance Association, continues. 
Being an important event in Caucasus region and dedicated to the insurance and reinsurance market, the 6th Azerbaijan International Insurance Forum reflects the region's most important trends and prospects. As a platform focused on interactive communication, the forum is directed to the strengthening of cooperation in the field of insurance. During the second day of the forum, new technologies on car insurance and market development, banking and life insurance were discussed. It was underlined that the forum is of great importance in terms of mastering and application of a number of innovations on the application of insurance system. That was all for today. Thanks for being with us. Goodbye.